onslaughtradio.com backstage at bloodstock hey everyone this is steph from onslaught radio here at bloodstock 2012 backstage with the legend himself chuck billy dude how are you doing man i'm doing well yeah, yeah. did you get here like a couple of hours ago or uh yeah actually we landed we flew in landed this morning around 10 o'clock yeah. drove up from manchester and here we are i mean yeah. On the run. <laughs> How was it, man? Was it like smooth sailing, the journey over? Was it cool with no problems or anything? Yeah, no problems. You know, you, just, you never know what happens at the airport. Uh, we played last night, and we had to, like, cut our set a little short because we had, like, a six-hour drive and an 8 o'clock flight. So we're, like, we were kind of worried that we weren't going to make the flight. So uh, we told the bus driver, just floor it. <laughs> Step on it, be careful, because we we're driving the route that uh, Cliff Byrne passed away on. So we're like, be careful, go fast, but be careful. You lock your bases Yeah. Yeah. But now we made it here. We got here and everything went smooth and uh, pulled up here. And it's like, wow, man, this thing has grown like a, like way beyond. Because when we were in, uh, I guess, 07, it was like we were just, felt like we were just playing out in a field somewhere. It hasn't been going long, the like the open air sort of side of Bloodstock. Like Bloodstock, I think started back in like 2001, but it was like indoors and it was like super small. But it's just grown and grown on year. And like talking about your 2007 set, like what was it like? I mean, like he doing a headline show. Like you said that you you felt like you're just playing to some people in the field. But do you have any fond memories of that show? Does it does it is it one of those ones that kind of sticks has stuck around in your head amongst all the other millions of ones you've done? Um. Well, I mean, it was the first time we ever experienced the Bloodstock Festival. And we have some friends here in the UK, and Nick Barker was actually jamming with us at, in the time, you know. Well, that's when we kind of started our relationship with Nick Barker, and he was going <laughs> to he was gonna come right on the Formation record. Yeah, and uh, we kind of hooked up, and he had been spending some time in America, and we have been working and writing, so it was kind of cool. And Andy Sneap came down and uh, hung out, and it was good, you know. So 2007, the headline slot, and now you're back in 2012. What can we expect from Testament's show like today, man? What 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 can we expect? Well, I mean, we've in the past couple of years when we've been playing, we've been like going back to a lot of the old classic songs, performing them. Um, but over the last since we did like the Formation record and the new record, we're, we seem to be putting a lot of that stuff into the show. Like, I think off the Dark Roots of Earth, we're playing four tracks off of that. And um, I think it's the first time that we put out a record and actually put so much of the songs in a, in a show. Usually we test the waters like a song or two, but we're, it's feeling good and we throw four in there and we're playing some off uh, the formation in the gathering. So it's really kind of compiled up of our last three records. And now we're kind of, the classics are still there some, but not as heavy as like it was in 07 which a lot of it was based on the classic stuff do you ever like i'm just curious do you ever feel like going back to some of the 90s albums that you guys did like i mean my personal favorite would be like electric crown and like i don't i don't think you guys play that very that song very often but it's we do yeah we've been playing that song in the set for probably the last three or four years but this tour but this tour we decided it's there's no room for it you know that we got just there's too much other stuff off formation in the new record that we got to play because if you get an hour that's only like 12 songs so you know we're paying like eight off of between those two records so we got what other four are we going to play they got to be classics then you know so it gets tough to put it set together it always gets tough you hear this from like numerous bands who've like got careers spanning like 20 years they're like okay well we've got this you know portion of the fan base who are going to be like screaming for this and then, then another portion who are like perhaps new because obviously well you for, try to give it yeah. all to them you try to think okay let's play a couple songs off each record and stuff and we've done that and then now it's like you know what let's let's stick with some of the stuff that we haven't done that's we want to do you know so the way it worked out now like i said it's off the last three records a majority of the show and you know it's it's feeling good man okay. So moving on to your records, like you did Formation of Damnation in 2008, which I think speaking as like a 20 year on year old, because I didn't grow up when you guys were like, you know, sort of household names, you know, in the thrash world, like um, 
it, for me, it was like a total introduction to you guys, and I was just like blown away. Like I was familiar with like Slayer and Metallica, and then all of a sudden I picked up this Testament record, and my brain got bl <laughs> blown out the back of my head. And I was like, I was totally like an avid Testament fan from that point. Um, from a fan point of view, like why is it kind of taking you guys so long to kind of get around to making Dark Roots of Earth? Like it's, um, I mean, I, I've kind of read things, but I'd like to just. Well, you know. not really, not so long. I mean, off formation, we toured for three years and that was in 08. Oh, okay. So, I mean, we did, you know, three years to 2011 and it only took us a year to put this record together. Oh, okay. um, but. From the gathering in 99, I guess we put that record out. I got sick in 2001. And at that point, right before I got sick, we were at the point where we weren't like a full-on touring band at that point. We went through so many bass players, guitar players, and drummers. It was, it was really getting tiresome, you know, teaching everybody new stuff and just like a revolving door, didn't know it was coming and going. So at that point, we decided, you know, we'll, we'll go play some shows, but we're not going to be a full-on touring band. And uh, when I got sick, um, I didn't think I was coming back to play any music, really. And uh, after about two years, I listened to some Testament songs, and it was like fresh to me again. And um, we were going to go over to Europe and do the Dynamo Festival with the Gathering lineup. And the promoter said, hey, I got the original Anthrax. What do you think about getting the original Testament? said, so it sounds good to me, I, I'll try. So I made some phone calls and uh, all the guys were into it. And so we had a five show tour through Europe that ended up evolving to where we are today. And so once all the guys decided to go full on and we're gonna do this, that's when we decided let's be a full on touring band and let's, let's get right back to where we left off guys. And it's like now it's almost like we're kind of blessed that we're gonna get a chance to like finish something together that we started together you know so so that, you know it, that whole gap between the the gathering up till 2008 it was a long time I didn't know what was going on what was happening and the music scene and and where everybody's head was at in the band but we do now and and so now it's making the writing process way more lax now like when we just wrote the, the new record we really wrote this new record for ourselves and didn't really think like in the, in, the, in the past when we were writing records you're always concerned about what people are going to think or the critics or fans you know should we put a ballad no nah, maybe they'll hate that or they'll criticize it it was so much stuff like that going on in your mind where this record we're like we're just like really comfortable with ourselves and us as friends and blessed that shoot man we get to do this together so we didn't care we were writing it for ourselves and you know we did a ballad on the record we haven't done that in 15 years, you know? And when we first played it, there wasn't one thought of what are people gonna think. We all just kind of said, hey, I'm digging that, let's do it. So uh, it's a total different mindset from what we were when they left up to where we reunited. And now that we're reunited again, it's a whole different banding. And it's in its, we're all still feeling young from it. Like, you know, like we, we're back together again, doing it like we never left. Totally. Yeah, so let's talk about Dark Roots of the Earth. It came out, what is it, like about two weeks ago now, I think? It's like 20, two weeks in Europe, 27th yeah. of July, I think was the release date. Yeah, week, yeah. week in America, two weeks. Yeah. In so new, on Nuclear Blast Records. Um, and uh, I mean, what was it like that, like having Andy Sneap in there and uh, like, you know, I mean, he's done like the Megadeth records, you know, he's, he's, he's kind of been this guiding hand on a lot of these, you know, thrash legends, like new albums. Uh, how was it for you guys going in there with Andy Sneap? Uh, well, Andy's worked, I think, on the last four recordings or so. And um, we had total confidence in him helping us out. I let him really help me produce my vocals Usually we'll re do the recordings and he'll mix it. This time we had him come out to our studio and do all the recordings, do it all, and then actually help them produce my vocals. Where usually I always like, I know how to do it, I'm, I don't do it in my way. And this, time, this year I wanted to take some help, you know, and try to make the best record possible. And Andy really came through, helped me with a lot of uh, ideas and some notes and melodies and keys that I probably wouldn't have sang in by choice. So it ended up being, and then in the mixing process, usually when we mix, me and Eric are right over his shoulder, breathing down his shoulder with all these ideas. And this year we said, you know, we're confident in you, you go for it. And the first mix back, 
it was like it was like right there and when they just gave him a couple little tweaks because we discussed what we were looking for and he he nailed it man yeah, I mean, I listen to the album, I love it. I think it's like as good, if not as like better than Formation of Damnation. You guys have clearly experimented, there's a lot of melody, you have the ballad on there. So I think it's a great Testament album for any Testament fan. Uh, Chuck, it's been great talking to you, man. I'm just going to finish off with the last question. I know you used to play American football, is that correct, when you were younger? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, why well, is it? Basketball, football. Yeah, so you're very... Soccer. Yeah, that, man. Yeah. Awesome. Well, considering you're such a... Or you, you are a sporty person, or you were a sporty person. Um, as you may know, the Olympics are on here in London right now. I don't know if you've been watching them. Yeah? Sweet. Okay, if you decided, like, today, okay, this is my last show, I'm not going to be a musician anymore, I'm going back to sport, this is what I've always wanted to do, right? What would your event be in the Olympics? What would you specialize in? What would you love to do? Uh, the hammer throw. Yeah? Sweet, man. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. We had loads of other guys say, oh, I want to do the women's volleyball, <laughs> and it's just like, <laughs> you're the only person who's answered it seriously. Uh, the hammer throw, man. That, that looks fun, man. Yeah. And hopefully you don't throw it into the crowd and kill someone, you know. <laughs> Any UK tour plans? Anything like that? Uh, just quickly? Yeah, we're actually coming back um, in November. After this tour, we go home and we do the Anthrax Death Angel tour, the third leg. And then we come back here in November for uh, Europe run for about, I think, three weeks. And then we're doing that uh, Metal Hammer Award Show, I guess, on December 1st. And uh, and then we don't know. The sky is open at that point, you know. Well, it's been a pleasure talking to you, Chuck. You've answered my questions brilliantly. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's been an honor and a pleasure having you here. Dark Roots of the Earth out now on Nuclear Blast Records from July 27th. The new single, Native Blood, is video up on YouTube. Check it out, guys, because it's seriously one of the best albums of the year, no joking. This is Steph from Onslaught Radio backstage at Bloodstock 2012. This was Chuck Billy from Testament. See you guys later.